G'day! Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. This time let's do a grade 8 problem that goes as follows. When 1999 to the 2000th power, oh heavens, is divided by 5, the remainder is... what? Alright, 1999 to the 2000th power. What is that? That's 1999 times 1999 times 1999 times 1999 and I'm going to be here for an awfully long while because I'm going to do a product of 2,000 of these things. Well, there's no way I'm going to work out that product and then divide it by 5. That's just too much work. So I'm going to employ strategy number 5, which is to solve a smaller version of the same problem. For example, a smaller version would be don't do 1999 uh, to the 2,000th power. Maybe do 1999 to just say the 20th power. That's a smaller version. Maybe it gives some insights how to do the big version. Actually, that still seems hard. 1999 times itself 20 times. Ugh. How about a smaller version still? How about 1999 to the second power? Work out what that remainder is upon division by 5. In fact, even that's a bit too hard. Why don't I do the smallest problem there is? Just 1999 itself. If I divide it by 5, I'll get something with some remainder. I wonder what remainder it is. Actually, I can do that one. Because I have to know that 1995 is obviously a remainder of 5. If I add 4, to, uh, multiple of 5, and if I add 4 to it, that gets me 1999. So that can be divided by 5. I can see the remainders can have to be 4. Okay. Well, that's a very small version of the original problem. At least I've got the answer for the small version. So maybe I can build my way back up to the more complicated version, knowing that the remainder is 4 here. So let's go back to, say, to 1999 squared. Hmm. Remainder of 4 times something of the remainder of 4. How can I think my way through that? Actually, actually, this is a whole focus on 5. 1999, I can't help but realise, is actually a nice multiple of 5. It's 2,000 take away 1. So instead of doing 1999 squared, what if I did 2,000, whoops, take away 1 times 2,000 take away 1? I feel like I can actually take that in. But if I draw my little area model for multiplication, uh, 2,000 times negative 1, 2,000 and negative 1. This guy is going to be 4 with, oh, heaven love zeros, 6 zeros or something. Negative 1 times 2,000 is negative 2,000. Uh, negative 1 times 2,000 is negative 2,000. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. I can see that this product is 4 with a bunch of zeros minus 2, two was it 20,000? 2 with a lot of zeros minus 2 with a lot of zeros plus 1. It's actually something with lots of zeros, so thousands if not more, plus 1. I can see that 1999 squared is something divisible by 5 plus 1 more. That leaves a remainder of 1. Aha! So 1999 squared leaves a remainder of 1. Okay, what about 1999 cubed? I'm going to fill up my board here. Can you still see me? Let's see here goes. Well, it's what I've just done, 1999 squared times 1999. That is a whole bunch of thousands plus 1 times 2,000 take away 1. Well, if I expand this out, a whole bunch of thousands times 2,000 plus 2,000 minus a whole bunch of thousands again. Ha ha ha, I'm going fast, but hopefully you're following. A whole bunch of thousands and then plus 1 times negative 1, minus 1. When I divide this guy by 5, it's 1 less than a multiple of 5. 99 squared was 1 more, 99 cubed is 1 less. I have a feeling you can now explore 1999 to the fourth power. 1999 to the fifth power, and maybe see what's going on. Actually, I like this idea of starting back at the beginning and working my way back upwards to the more complicated case. I bet you could do it. So play with it. I went very fast here. Maybe, you know, watch this video a couple of times, see it, take it through yourself slowly. But then try to get all the way up to 1999 to the 2000th power on your own. And if you do it, check the essay that goes with the video and compare your answer with mine. Good chances will be the same. Fabulous. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.